So in today's tutorial, we are going to implement uh, first this is the GitHub link and we are going to implement two pointer in unsorted array and binary search. So first we are going to implement find a pair whose sum is equal to target k. But here the trick is this array is unsorted. So in the previous tutorial, we did this with a sorted array, but today we are going to do with an unsorted array. So second is implement a binary search in a sorted array. So we are going to implement our code in the, in the notebook because it gives a better understanding and plus uh, if there is an error it's easier to debug uh, rather than uh, like I, again if there is an error then I have to run the whole program again uh, which would uh, which would uh, so this would keep keep a clear structure and maintain the flow so let's implement binary search first so we'll define binary search so I'll put a comment here a is equal to list so a is, a is the list and uh, key is a target value so binary search is a search operation which is basically performed on a sorted array so binary search can only be implemented on a sorted array this is the key and uh, this is the uh, prerequisite to the binary searches and it takes time complexity time complexity of log n so, so uh, it takes a time complexity of log n the space uh, I'll define in the next line space complexity space complexity is equal to log n inter in it's recursive it's recursive and it is a uh, space complexity is a uh, space complexity is o of one iterative in case of iterative okay so the recursive calls are due to stack data structure. So this is the big difference you need to uh, figure out why if we do it recursively and if we do it iteratively. So the prerequisite is that it should be a sorted array. But, uh, another is it should be uh, if it's a recursive, then the space complexity becomes O of log n. But if it's iterative, then space complexity O of one. So let's implement our binary search now. So we are going to implement it iteratively because most of the question you do it iteratively. So we define define binary search So we are going to define binary search and we'll take array as a parameter left in left pointer right pointer and a key so now we have a array left pointer right pointer and a key now the first thing the binary search we do is calculate a mid but before that we would loop while left left then is equal to right we calculate a mid pointer which is left plus right by 2 so we calculate the mid if a of mid a of mid is, is equal to the key then we return mid this is the case if the array of mid is equal to key then we return the mid else check for two conditions uh, this is the lf part and else part so we look for the two conditions in the lf part and else part if we, if we find then we return the index uh, sorry yes, sir, if we uh, if we are able to measure then it's fine so how we measure either we compare if array of mid is less than key so here you can assume that the key is greater than uh, array of mid so we define left is equal to mid plus one because we are trying to now assume that we are approaching towards the key because if we want to uh, approach towards the key, so we have to increment the left pointer. Okay, else, else this is a case where key, key is less than array of mid. So this is an opposite condition to this one. The key is less than array of mid. So we are assuming that uh, I, either you can say that array of mid is greater than key or key is less than array of mid. So we decrement the right pointer right pointer is equal to mid minus one if we don't find any index then we return minus one uh, assuming that, this, uh, that we don't have a uh, key in the array 
so let's uh, do it for our test case i would copy this and i would paste it here and now i would return my function binary search of a uh, a is a point, uh, zero comma len a minus one because uh, uh and then p would be our my key would be this now let's uh, assume so here you can see now i have a index 0 1 2 3 4 so perfect so i have a uh, array uh, in which 200 is at the uh, 200 is at the fourth index so i can uh, return this index that's perfect so let me show you how we can do this uh, uh, inbuilt function in python you can do this using inbuilt function in python i'll show you do do one thing go to import bisect okay now uh, you need to simply call bisect dot bisect underscore left and simply pass these parameters i'll tell you one is this array comma key comma zero comma len a uh, this is there's a slight difference you see a comma key comma zero comma len a now you call this function uh, you can see here you get four as the output here so this is the inbuilt uh, function which works as a binary search so this is inbuilt so inbuilt so the uh, like uh, bisect uh, i'll write here bisect acts as a binary search so this is the uh, that this is a bonus for you because it acts as a binary search let's move to our next question so we need to define a uh, I'll show you the test case so here you can see uh, k is equal to 17 but please note this is an unsorted array please uh, this is an unsorted array and k is equal to 17 so i need to define two targets 10 and 7 so k is equal to 17 so uh, so this is an uh, k is equal to 17 is our target but uh, which is the fulfill uh, which uh, two elements uh, which make a pair as a target sum is 10 and 7 so let's uh, do it for the this question so uh, i have an array and, and i'll call a function find target pair and it would take array and k as a target so i'll define the function find target pair now which takes a as a a array and k the target so i'll also put this in our comment a is a list and k is a target value and uh, i'll make sure that this is unsorted list so i hope now this is fine now i can implement my function uh, to keep a track uh, i'll take an unordered structure unordered data structure that is set so the lookup type in average case o of 1 because since it's an uh, unordered data structure you can also use a hash map here or i in range uh, len a uh, i'll define a complement if uh, first i'll define a complement complement is equal to k minus a of i so this is complement complement is the target minus uh, so the target value minus array of i so this would give me the complement if complement in set so if the complement exists because complement plus a of i would equal be k because complement is k minus a of i plus a of i is equal to k then i would simply return complement comma a of i else if it's not there i'll simply add set dot add a of i so let me run my function simply you can see two uh, points are 10 comma 7 are the two points which we had required so this is how we uh, 
look uh, like binary search uh, we also implement two pointers in binary search that is left and right so uh, this is a good example i showed you how you can do it one thing on sorted array and this is the inbuilt view of the binary search the next is for unsorted array so thank you guys thank you so much for this tutorial i'll catch up in the next tutorial so thank you guys thank you so much